move on and heal this is a message for you this is not a mistake you're seeing this you need to have enough self-respect to move on from things and let go of things that no longer grow you that no longer nourish you that no longer fulfill you because that is your right why would you hold on to something if it didn't grow you or nourish you you can't grow unless you let go of these negative things if it's people stop checking their social media stop worrying if they're going to text you they don't care we we think that you know we want closure or we want them to say something to us or we want to hear back from this job that fired us and all these things but they already made their decision my friend they told you everything you needed to know they gave you the closure you are just denying it you are rejecting the results because you are so fixated on what could have happened what should have happened what you wanted to happen but life don't work like that it don't work like that you got to take the cards you have put them in a stack and play with them do as best as you can and when you move around the table maybe you can grab some more cards maybe you can even go out to the store and get you a new set of cards but that old stuff, that stuff that's not going to help you, that's only damaging you and that's only poisoning you and keeping you in that place to where you're just like, man, I wish I could let them go. Let it go. You have the power to do so. You just stopping yourself from doing it. And another thing, one of the reasons why it's so hard to let go of things is because we are afraid to embrace the new version of ourselves. So when you love a person, when you care about a person, when you're with a person or you're at this certain job or you're in this certain place in life, that is a certain version of you. OK. And you have all these qualities, you have all these emotions, however you want to put it. You're just a version of you. Well, when you are no longer in this place, when you are no longer in this situation, you become a new version of yourself. So a lot of the reasons why it's so hard to let go is because you are scared to become this new version of yourself. You have been comfortable in your own demise. And isn't that crazy? We as humans can become comfortable in our own demise. We can be comfortable in poisoning ourselves, ruining our lives, ruining our brains. Even though we want better, we can become comfortable in our own demise. But you have to stop fearing it. Change is good. Now, you may not enjoy all change, but good comes out of everything if you're willing to look for it. I'm telling you, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. What you really need to do is find yourself again. I was in a relationship, beautiful person, beautiful girl. She had her trauma. She had things that bled over into the relationship. Things happened, but she was a beautiful person. She taught me a lot. I taught her a lot. We learned a lot. We connected more than I've ever connected with anyone and vice versa. But our life paths were different. Things that we believed in were different and it caused the interference and it got to the point where things just didn't work out and that's okay. Some people come into your life in season. You know, some things come into your life in season and it don't mean you have to bash them. I would never bash her. No matter what happened, no matter what transpired, no matter what was said, I'm not going to bash her. She was a beautiful person. It was a beautiful experience. But I outgrew the situation. Some people are not equipped. They're not ready. They're not built to fly in those altitudes that you're going to fly. It's, it's too much turbulence up there. Some people meant for certain things. And maybe, you know, they'll excel at something else. But in order for you to break the stratosphere in order for you to go out of the atmosphere just like the rockets so you got to drop those boosters you got to drop that dead weight so you can get out of here so you can grow out of your old self so you can crack your shell so you can crack your mold because you are worth that you are meant to grow you are meant to prosper you are meant to become the best version of you that is your purpose now you can decide you know what you're going to do with your purpose. Your purpose is just being the best possible. Now find something to put that into. Like I said, find you. Get the road map back to you. Find you and not some watered down version of who someone wants you to be. That's not fair to you. That's not fair to this world because you are special. And the world needs to see that. So you got to let go. You got to move on. You got to find what makes you happy. You got to find what fills you with joy. And always remember that happiness is a byproduct of what you do and how you feel. Or more, more so what you do. Happiness is not 
a solid thing. It is um, momentary, right? Joy is forever. You can do things that fill you with joy that don't make you happy. Joy is what you should search for. And while you're doing things that fill you with joy, you will become happy. When you're around people who fill you with joy, they will make you happy. Find what makes you happy. Find what fills you with joy. Find yourself again. Don't fear change. Beautiful things come from change. Beautiful things come from chaos. But you got to let go. You got to believe in yourself. And you got to believe in the process so you can grow. Don't handicap yourself. And don't lose self-respect. Let go of the things that no longer grow you, nourish you, fulfill you. You got to let go. When you was in your mother's womb, if you're watching this, we can all relate. If you, when you was in your mother's womb, it was only so much she could do for you until you had to come out of that little thing. Right? How many months did it take? Nine months. You was sucking all the nutrients out of it, doing this, doing that. But it gets to the point where she had to kick you out of there because you got to get out of there, get your umbilical cord cut, and you got to grow on your own. Got to let go. Okay? So my people, whatever it is out there, I know it seems hard, but it's only as hard as you make it. Don't fear it. Embrace it. Many times in your life before, if you're watching this video, I know you'd have been through things in your life that were scary. I know you'd have been through things in your life that made you nervous. But you overcame them. And look at you now. You made it out all right, didn't you? This ain't nothing new. Nothing new. Y'all remember when you had to go somewhere and you had to leave your favorite toy at home? You remember that? You remember when your favorite toy broke and you had to learn how to emotionally let it go and detach from it because it was something that you cherished forever, but you don't even think about that toy no more because you grew up. Now it's time for you to grow out. You understand what I'm saying? Get out of yourself. Get out of that little shell. But while you're in that shell, learn yourself. Become friends with yourself. Love yourself. But I'm going to need you to let go of those traumas, man. Weaponize those traumas. Use them for fuel. Use them to be better. And I know it's easier said than done. But that's just another excuse that we use to dive back into that hole. It's hard to let go of these things that happened to me and this and this and that. I know that. But that's why it's worth doing it. That's why it's worth putting in the practice of becoming better. Letting go of things that don't grow you. You have to, but if you don't, if you want to go down that path of holding on things or holding on to things for the rest of your life and never growing, never penetrating the soil and growing into the beautiful plant and blossoming into the beautiful plant with the fruits that the earth can eat, that you can eat, that your children can eat, where you can leave behind this beautiful legacy. And, you know, not even leaving behind a beautiful legacy, just being the best version of you. You're going to miss out on that opportunity. I'm not going to let you. If you're watching this video, I'm not going to let you. I can't do it. Because I know what it does for me to let go. And I'm a selfish person. When something works for me, I'm a damn near force feed that down your throat. Pause for anybody who's immature. Like if I'm around my friends and I know that doing handstand push-ups would cure your depression, I'm going to force you to do handstand push-ups. That's just how I am. Sometimes I come off too strong with people. Sometimes people don't understand, but that's just who I am. So I'm going to need you to let go. If you support me, I'm going to need you to let go. If you're breathing, I'm going to need you to let go. They don't care, my boy. Or sis, he don't care. Did they call you? Did they show up to your house? No. So let go. I love y'all, man. I appreciate the support. This is only the beginning. I had to let go of the old me to become who I am today. And as you can see, I'm flourishing. I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of what I'm doing. So, 
I will see y'all on the next one. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all once again. And I'll see y'all on the next one.